guys, it's Daisy Demands, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a little deep dive of a TikTok horror called Maple Underground. In this horror universe is a pocket dimension full of nasty, creepy monsters out to get our gang. The gang consists of Orson the Cat, who is 72, Fritz the Owl, Eleanor the Sheep, Raj the Jar, and Apollo the Claymation Square. This was really, really interesting to me because it is a horror puppet mix and I thought it was really good. They have a Discord, a YouTube, a Twitter, and I believe a Patreon. So go check them out because it's, it's good stuff. There are good things, good things in the making. So anyway, let's get into the video and I will tell you all about Maple Underground. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. That was a little uh, introduction to all the characters there. I will say, for context, Fritz is Orson's mentor or caregiver or parent. that was a little snippet into how their relationship is and the fortune cookies are going to be a running theme of secrets maybe or secret hidden messages but yeah that's the relationship that fritz and orson have very loving relationship just be if you can mr holmes As you can see, the gang are very happy living in their pocket dimension and having fun with each other and hanging out. Oh, damn, child. So much more than just a bit. 
figment of his imagination, but for days it was persistent and it went. Now here's where it takes a dark turn. Awesome is starting to have nightmares about monsters coming out of their wardrobe in the pocket dimension. And he's basically reassuring himself that monsters aren't real. No. And uh, Fritz is acting a bit strange, you would say. Saying, uh, we got work to do, you can't watch the telly all the time and making a journal of what to do when he's gone. So are they guarding something? Are they looking after something so it doesn't break through? Who knows? Quite clearly, this is the creepy monster hand trying to lure Orson by his dreams into the wardrobe. Whether it's subliminal messaging or dreams, that thing wants him in the wardrobe. <laughs> see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. At this point, Orson's feeling very uneasy about the wardrobe. It's starting to open and things are trying to get out. Uh, mimicking him as well. Things in there are mimicking him. Things are trying to chomp at him with teeth. Um, and at this point, he found a pew pew and decided to protect himself.
Now it's getting juicy. Orson has let curiosity get the better of him and opened the do not open uh, the wardrobe sign on the wardrobe and he eventually got sucked into the void of the wardrobe and you could see that the Apollo was singing a very sad song on top of the wardrobe and Fritz was very very sad and crying at the fact that Orson was missing. Circumcise my love for you. It's hard to not be the only one who hears you. Tears falling down at the party. Saddest little baby in the room. Fears knocking for a while. Get something for your. Now, these videos are all in first person, so we are looking as it's happening to us, or we're looking through our eyes. I can't quite make my mind up if this is before Orson went through the wardrobe, or after Orson went through the wardrobe, and maybe he has been replaced, or maybe it's changed him in a certain way. I don't know. I'd love to hear your theories on it, if you have any, or if you want to piece the timeline to how you think it goes, I would love to hear about it. This one, this little message, I am taking it as maybe the wardrobe is a, a wormhole? to maybe the underworld filled with monsters and maybe they're keeping the monsters at bay anyway guys that is my thoughts and theory and me putting the timeline together of maple underground if you have any thoughts and comments on how it should go or if you think i'm wrong or if you think that this could be a possibility instead of that please let me know in the comments I'm sure there'll be more coming out about this, so I will do updates. And I hope you guys have a good time, and I will see you next time. Bye! All I wanted was you.